What's up everybody, it's Shelly. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the forward, outside, open and closed Mohawks. Um, this is part two of the Mohawk how-to video series. So if you didn't check out video one, which was all about the forward, inside, open and closed Mohawks, you're gonna wanna check that out in the link over here. And let's go ahead, let's jump right into the forward, outside, open and closed Mohawks. The forward outside open mohawk is, I would say, the easiest out of the two that we're talking about today. Um, so right now what we're gonna do is I'm going to show you this mohawk on the big circle on the rink instead of drawing it out on a half circle. So right now I am going to glide on that big circle and when I push onto that forward outside edge, my shoulders and hips and arms face outside of the circle. I bring my free leg into the instep of my skate. I flip my hips so I can step backwards. And if you notice, my shoulders, hips, and arms still face outside of the circle when I do this mohawk. It's very important that when you do that step in the mohawk that you do rotate your hips from facing and moving forward to backward. That is very important. And you keep those arms facing outside of the circle. Right now, you don't see a lot of knee bend out of me, my demonstrations right now, just because of the fact that I'm doing it slow. I'm not really using a ton of edge right now, but if you wanted to make a deeper edge with this Mohawk, you would use a lot more knee bend on the edge going in through the Mohawk itself and the edge coming out of that Mohawk. So that's how you do that forward, outside, open Mohawk. It's an open feel with the shoulders and hips. That's why we call it that open mohawk. It's a lot easier. It's not as much of that check position that we normally feel in other things in our skating, like a three turn, for example. And of course, while you try to use a little bit more knee bend on this forward outside open mohawk, also keep in mind when you're switching your feet, those toes are pointing away from each other. Never have your toes point in the same direction when you're doing a mohawk. So in this mohawk, the only difference is, is that you're gonna bring that free leg to the inside of the circle that you're skating on. So here we go. I'm doing it on the circle again. Arms are still gonna face out, shoulders, hips still face outside of the circle. I push onto my edge, shoulders, hips, and arms are out. I bring my foot behind and I push that skating foot in front during the change. So that's the trickiest part about this, I would say. So during that step, you bring your foot behind the skating foot, then that skating foot, when you're doing your step, pushes forward. So that's that checked position that we're gonna feel. So the show opposite shoulder and opposite hip are going to be squeezing against each other um, when you are doing this mohawk. I pinch my shoulder and my hip towards each other to get that check position. That's the easiest way for you to kind of feel that nice mohawk change that you have from one foot to the other. This, once again, just like in the last video, we talked about how the closed mohawks really help you with the feeling of a chalk taw. Here, it's the same thing. This is gonna help us with our feeling of that chalk top. If you let your, especially on the forward closed outside mohawk, if you bend your knees a little extra, especially during the time when you're switching from one foot to the other, that's gonna really help you out with the mobility. Here, you want your knees to point out and away from each other when you're doing that step. If you don't have those knees point out and away from each other during this step, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for you to achieve this mohawk. So that's how you do the forward, outside, closed mohawk. So bottom line with both of these mohawks, when we do them, things that are going to be a huge help when we do this forward, outside, open or closed mohawk. Arms always face outside of the circle. More knee bend you have during the change of the feet, the easier it'll be. You flip your hips while you change the feet from forward to backward. Try not to have the arms and shoulders rise up too much when you're doing the Mohawk. You want to press your palms down during the entry and exit edges of these Mohawks. And this goes for all the Mohawks that we do. You always want your palms down, shoulders down. You want to stretch your neck really tall, almost like you're a giraffe. 
So that's gonna really help with the control of your core and of course of your arms so they're not swinging freely around. So there you have it. Forward, outside, open and closed mohawk. Comment below, smash that like button if you are finding these videos helpful. We have part three coming out next week and we're gonna be getting into the backward mohawks. So we're probably gonna do the backward outside, open and closed mohawk first and then part four four will be the following week after that one so do not miss it stay tuned big thanks for shelly skates coming your way skate great and until next time i will see you in the next video bye guys